Now here is the back of the Waranora Dam where the Waratah River comes in. This is uh, July the 23rd and we've just had about 200 millimetres of rain in the last few days. The weather has been absolutely atrocious and they're saying so far it's the wettest July in about 50, 60 years, 60 years I think it is. And I've come to see how high the level of the water is in the Waranora Dam. Well, there's definitely more water in there, we can plainly see. It also looks like a lot of the bush has been cleared as well. You know, that's really quite interesting. The bush on the other side of that wall. And let's have a look down the spillway. Well, yes, interesting. That is also being cleaned out. Hmm, I must be watching my videos. So for a comparison, let's have a look at the footage from 20 days ago taken on the 3rd and compare it. There sure are a lot of trees missing and cleaned up. And so it also is obviously cleaned up down the um, spillway. Now do they know that we're going to get a flood or something or have they just been uh, watching my videos and learning what they've got to do? Well who knows. So we can still hear the sound of rushing water. Let's have a look. Well, yes, we can hear that water coming out. Look at the way that has been swept clean. There's water going down there, but it's certainly not making that sound. Let's go and see further, hey? Well, there's certainly a lot more water in the dam. They even have a, a boom net across there to get the debris by the look of it. They're rather uh, interesting. And those uh, boats are there so they can test the uh, Navy sonar gear, I understand. But we can see a comparison here. This uh, point was about three metres out of the water 20 days ago on the 3rd of July. Now it's the 23rd. Now using the uh, bushes there on the uh, point of the land as a reference uh, to uh, the level of the water, have a look where they are now. And you can clearly see it definitely has come up about three metres. It'll be interesting to see in a week's time too. <laughs> because of the uh, effect of the environmental flows. Let's see if it's at the same level. Okay, now here it is, the 29th of July. And has the water changed? Well, yes, it's come up about uh, six, maybe 10 inches, uh, looking at those objects there. So in this week, the dam, week ending the 28th of July, it's 56.6% full and they've let out 471 million litres of drinking water. And all that right, 471 million litres. Now how high would this lake, this dam have been if that water had not been let out? Well, possibly above those bushes there. So, uh, We'll be keeping an eye on them as our reference point for further updates. So here we are, the 23rd of July 2011. In this uh, comparison, you can see the 10.5 reference mark in the uh, photograph from the third. You can see that uh, where it is in the level as compared to uh, the one on the 23rd. Well, certainly a lot of water has gone in. Now there you are, 10.5 metres from the top. It's certainly an expanse of water at the moment should get full. Get 
a, a long way to go. Now here's runoff, leakage. Still letting down. It may not seem much, but they lose about 5 million litres a day just through normal leakage that's not even counted in the um, environmental flows. Well, I bet you that's not the environmental flow, but it's still going in. And the pipe goes all the way down there. But, as we can see, the pipes on the left hand side and there's water coming out over there on the right. And I don't think the uh, pipe doesn't about face there. It's a long way away. Interestingly, uh, there's a broadcaster, uh, uh, Alan Jones, who came out recently uh, with a rash statement saying that the reason the level in the Warrenora Dam is not so high is because if the water was any heavier in the volume, it would break through into the long wall mining underneath. This, of course, is completely ridiculous and pure fabrication on his part in uh, what he's decided to say. There is no long wall mining actually allowed under a storage area and uh, his uh, statement should be retracted to which I've asked and of course it's been totally ignored. Well there you are. Just goes to show you you can say things and get away with it. Until of course it goes up on YouTube and the world gets to hear about it.